I think... Oh, no. Father has something to say to us. Was thinking it would be good if you learned how to cook. It's a handy skill to have. Although, since my rose died, I just haven't had the energy to make anything tasty. My soups are sour, my stews are blue, and my pottages are rottage. Go see old Mother Hubbard. She lives up at Candlewitch Village, uh, Cottage. She's the best cooking quill, and even wrote the book on recipes. Literally. I... Okay, deliver milk to Pappy Cow. Ah, I thought I just did that. All right, I'll do it again. Uh, so make an offering, feed a pig, and deliver milk to Pappy Cow. Cowpat Farm, north of Candlewitch West. Must not like his family to let them do it. All right, so we want to do... It's not throwable, it's container. In bucket. Okay, drop an apple, and, oh, right, waste the milk first, and I, right, it's two uses of milk, we got to get, we gotta fill the trough first, which is already full, confusing, okay, now let's go get the milk, <laughs> after just, Dumping it on the ground. I know I could have used the wooden bucket, but I mean that cow is an inexhaustible supply of uh... Oh, I see the tin bucket just holds twice as much that makes sense Okay, well, let's hop back on this I mean seeing as we've got the Devon chat I might as well show this off I think this is my favorite, uh, in incomplete thing I've seen so far. Whee! <laughs> Please don't fix this for a while. It is not necessary. <laughs> it's fun. Whee! I don't know, there's just something about being totally static, fishing while a pig just, like, repeatedly snouts your feet. I love the music for this game. I, I don't think that's something I've really mentioned about, but I think there's a fairly decent amount of variety from what I've run into. <laughs> we'll leave that in. Yeah. I don't know. I would I would rather see uh, more things to do before some of these things get balanced. But, I mean, that should be kind of obvious. How much uh, have I missed uh, that I should do? Because we've got various errands and stuff, and I'd, I'd hate to leave this... Uh, oh, can I show the hovering bucket? Yes. This is also my other favorite thing. I have telekinetic powers, and it's amazing. Because, yeah, I'd actually like to show off as much as possible before uh, before I throw this on the back burner and let, let the game develop. And I don't know if I've seen everything that's available. I mean, I figured out how to properly cook this time, and it didn't kick me out of the game, which is a good sign. Okay, now we're looking for just some grumpy old man. They have plenty of cows. Why do I have to deliver milk to these people? Get to day 14. Okay. We can do that. Uh, is there... Wait, what happened to my dog? Oh no, Stiff! Okay, that's the shortcut. So there's good stuff from then on. Okay, so there is actually, like, a decent amount of content. I was worried for a second that, uh... Oh, this is... This is pro... Oh, God. Uh, this is probably the guy that I gotta deliver to. What you want? Had enough of them rascals, so I moved myself out here. My druid is on pits. Leave this old bugger alone and give me some peace. I think this is the guy that wants the milk. Alright. And then I'm gonna milk his cow. And then I'm gonna milk his lawn. Right in front of him. Well, not only have I given milk to Pappy Cow, but I have properly milked Pappy Cow. Or Pappy Cow Pat? I'm not entirely sure. Alright, well... We don't have anything immediately useful here, so I guess I'm just gonna kind of rapid-fire days for a bit. Because, yeah, if, if interesting stuff happens on day 14 and past, then we should prioritize that. Because, yeah, I really do actually want to show off as much of this as possible, because... 
I like... I like Graveyard Keeper, but it gets really repetitive. And for the amount of depth that it has. And I like Stardew Valley, but I think it's too long for the depth that it has. And this seems like it has a lot of depth once it'll be done. And so it probably has the potential for being one of my favorites. I just gotta get there. How long has this game been in development for, out of sheer curiosity? Because it's always interesting seeing how long it like took to get to this point. Judging by the artwork, it's probably been in development for a while. Either that or you got a pixel wizard. You can just conjure stuff, like, freely. We will be putting in NPC reactions to pouring. <laughs> That's probably for the best. I'm a terrible person. I'm just, I've just been chucking milk everywhere. Hello, father. I come back with my telekinetic bucket and chores done. Farewell, I will sleep. But first, a fish? Alright, now let's try sleeping. Okay, now we want to sleep for hours. Okay, so we get five brass to collect. Let's see if I broke anything. Alright. Nothing so far. Today is Druida Day, a day where we pay homage to our beloved goddess. Head to the festival green and bring an offering. Where's the festival green? Uh... Okay, recipe book. We want strawberries, blueberries, and pear. We might as well do fruits of the orchard. S strawberries. Oh. Exit. Oh no! Add to the pot. <laughs> I'm boiling a single strawberry. We have made... Ugh. Mess. Somebody can't cook. Yes, I mean you. Alright, we're storing that and giving it to somebody we don't like. Alright, I messed up. I pressed A too soon. Uh, let's see. Recipe book. It is strawberries, blueberries, and a pear. Okay, so the blueberries and the pear need to be added at about the same time. It, oh, it reset my cursor position. Okay, so we'll, we might be able to do this again. Uh, but so blueberries, pear, and then strawberries. Do it properly. All right. Well, I got it anyway. I guess it doesn't really judge you that much. Can I try that again? Maybe I can actually do it in whatever order I want. So, blueberries. Blueberries. So, this has been in development since Lionhead closed. Although it's been through some slow patches. A lot of work went into the tools in the back end. And things should speed up a lot since early access started. So, you guys were actually there for kind of the end of... Uh, the end of Lionhead. That's a shame. I actually was really excited. Oh, wait. Why did I do that all at the same time? Well, I don't know. Uh, but, but, but. I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe once there's like a quality system or something. Well, that should be a setting. Can I... Sniff, you want to come with me? Okay. I've gained a party member. <laughs> okay, so straight up, where is the... Green. Oh, you know what? I bet no. Festival Green is probably straight south. That's where that's where we got the uh the other stuff from. Water needs his crock pot in order to cook. I do, absolutely. I, I can't cook without a crock pot. What do you think I ate my chili out of today? Crock pot, clearly. So if we talk a the yeah, Festival Green. There we go. There's a couple more places I should probably look at as well. <laughs> that poor dog. Brrr. Can't figure out which direction we're going, so it's just going every direction. I apologize if I'm making fun of the bugs too much. I I think bugs are one of my favorite things about early access. I always uh 
I always like when like a game is kind of it's whoa oh right yeah I forgot I forgot we got the we got the blanket bug going on too but if you go to sleep while you're on the pig you uh you if you don't get off the pig you still have the blanket for sleeping and yeah, the glitch list is long <laughs> I'm Lionel from peanuts oh man I am Boop! Okay, so we're, we're, we're what? Okay. Oh, make an offering, feed a pig. So go to the festival green south of Candlewitch Village and take part of the honoring of our beloved Druida, God of the Orchards. Make apt offerings and feel free to watch the dancing and even play an instrument, but do not forget to make an offering. Unless you want to wake up with a love for hopping on lily pads. Uh, don't forget to feed the pig though. This is Morton. Okay, uh, let's see. So, do we have an offering bowl here? Or can I just make an offering at, at the statue? No, prob probably not. Unless this is where I make the offering. Well, there we go. I don't see an offering bowl in this area. Oh, these are the people dancing. Oh. Why is it just the same man? <laughs> Hi from down below. I'm totally fine with there not being dancing animations right now, but I just I like the idea of it's like, oh no, it's a festival! Beware the confused people! Stay away from the green! They just twitch in the field! <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Wow, I'm actually starting to get a fair bit of cash here. I don't see any in instruments. Oh, well, the dog is joining them in the dance, too. But <laughs> yeah, so I'm assuming we don't have instruments yet. Come, dog, you must dance with him. There it goes. Yeah, it has to be right next to me to, like, flip out weirdly. I like how they're not even dancing, like, together. They're kind of just aimlessly twitch-wandering. They're just like, Bleh. Oh, what's this over here? Goodbye! I will dance in this direction. Calm sachet. <laughs> Those guys are kind of lost. None of these things bother me. It's just amusing. I I love games that are in uh, in progress. So I guess like I kind of used to work on games, not many flash games, but since we had such a small team, we had to pretty much hack job everything together. You'd not believe how many like how many games were non-functional up until the last second. I can't I can't uh, imagine doing stuff like early access. Uh, and having to, like, round out my cut corners, uh, you know, just in case somebody's gonna see them. Knowing that somebody's going to see them, honestly. And fall at 76. Yep. Alright, so we might as well buy the Sterling Button Moss Stew. That's a five-star recipe? Okay. And night milk. Air at milk and thyme. Oh, I see. It's for cooking. What's this? Sleeper zest. A ball. Everyone loves playing with their balls. Somebody was feeling juvenile when they wrote that one up. The weapon of choice for menaces everywhere. Yes. Actually, now that I think about it. Can I? Can I? Can I menace? Ah. No, ah, eh. Aha! Bam! Nobody notices or gets hit by this. Well, that's unfortunate. I wonder if you can get kicked out of town by, like, hitting too many people with a slingshot. If so, that would be lovely. Hello, youngin! Heard you are up at Willow Town. Willow Town. I own the tavern with my wonderful daughter. We don't serve miners, but we do serve miners. Not that there are any left. My Melanie's in charge. She's just so much better at business. Welcome to our village. I'm Toby's daughter and the owner of the Flailing Arms. 
Can't serve you, I'm afraid, but come of age and I'll happily fill your tankard. I love the character designs. I love this guy. He looks like he's concerned about everything in the world. And by everything in the world, I mean, like, he's worried about, like, space-age economics. Now. Uh, I really want that now. You Like, just one random, particularly crazy-looking NPC that has, like, commentary on, like, Eldritch cults and stuff that's not in the game. He's- oh! That'd be perfect. I- not- actually, this is not a proper suggestion for the game, and I, I wouldn't maybe recommend this. But I really like the idea of a- what the- hi! <laughs> you can bed teleport! That's a new one. So apparently if you've got the blanket glitch going, you actually teleport right back to bed whenever you- whenever you, uh... enter... uh... when you enter the- I guess the farm? The home farm? That's amusing. <laughs> I'm just imagining this poor kid's infinite pockets are filled with like rotting pears. And everybody's like, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Robin. Robin, you smell awful like rotting food. You have so many just flies coming out of you. What are you doing? It's just, it's nothing. All right, carrot. But yeah, completely insane villager summer is spouting nonsense. Sort of. I, I was gonna say, uh, I wanna, I wanted to have like a, an insane villager that gives you like quests. You know, like here's a task. I want you to go slay three dragons. There's no dragons in this game. You can't slay them. He has no reward. And there's, like, maybe one task you can do and he hands you, like, pocket lint. Huh. Oh, there we go. Let's see, we'll sleep. Yeah. We might as well sleep. Let's see if father has any more tasks for me. We must be, like, the most layabouty child ever. Nope, nope, wrong, wrong one. Ah! Sniff! Father is unwell. I'm s I'm busy, so it would be helpful if you sorted it. Where the apothecary in the village? The bed is occupied. No, father! Well, it's okay. I'm loaded as far as children go. I actually have no idea. I wonder if brass is going to be the only currency in this game or if we're ever going to be, like, mad wealthy. Oh. You know, I wonder if there's, like, a, uh, a progress map or, like, a vague glimpse at everything that they that, that's going to be in the game someday. Because I know there's going to be combat, but I don't know how much of it. And I know you can, like, own things. Can you just straight up be the mayor of the town? Just own everything? Oh yeah, what other... Okay, so kill father's illness. Deliver milk to Hazel Nut. Make an offering, feed the pig, collect honey. Okay, so we should probably actually go back and do that. Oh, no, we still have some milk. Hazel at the Cattery. Northern Cuckoo Woods. Okay. Author's got a case of the greens, not an actual case, hidden under his bed. Find him a cure, either natural or expensively procured from somewhere like, you know, the apothecary. Okay, and also feed the pig. Okay, well, let's go over here. What is this man? Hello, youngster. I'm a traveling trader. I sell seeds and such. I just love spreading my seed. I'm here every second and ninth day of the season. And at the Widow's Cross every first and sixth. Be sure to catch me for some shady deals. Okay, so we can buy wheat seed, carrot seed, cabbage seed, flour, and some mystery thing, curse trumpeting. Yes. Curse trumpeting makes the afflicted shout curses uncontrollably. Uncover trait. Curse trumpet. Okay, I'm suddenly no longer the richest child ever. 
but that's okay. Um, wording again. I, it's very intentional. I love it. Okay, we still we don't actually know where the uh the cat. Well, there's only a couple other places it could be, so we'll head north next. Is this traitor hitting on you? I don't think he's necessarily hitting on me. I think he's just incredibly creepy. Wow, watch it. Watch it that the father can actually just straight up die. The greens, eh? Well, we could mix you up just the thing, but we've run out of kakudu. It is a plant that grows in cuckoo wood, north of the village. The proverb says cuckoo dew can be found by old stumps on muddy grounds. And, well, there's a... We have two tasks. Okay, uh... Oh, still haven't made an offering. Let's fix that. Have an apple. These fairies are gonna get sick of apples by the time we're done, but that's okay. Oh, good. There's there's honey there. All right. So is this the lady we want we want to visit? Maybe. Oh. The uh. Whoops. The, uh, the doorway is off-center. <laughs> There's a per- oh, uh... The Hazel Nut. Are you Hazel? Hello, I'm the Woodsman of Cuckoo Wood. My family are the only ones allowed to cut wood. It's a tremendous honor. The woods are safe by day, but try not to get lost. Okay, so we're looking for that cattery. Uh, okay. Wait, the dog is discovered? Wow. Sniff has one hell of a nose. Where are you going, Sniff? Oh, yep, there it is. Uh, I think I gotta get off. There we go. Dig failed, nothing salvageable. Dang it! Okay, well, we lose our blanket glitch, but that's fine. So where's the cattery around here? How the traitor in Oakvale at the start of Fable 1 talks. I haven't played Fable 1 in years. I need to go back to that. That was one of my favorite games to play as a kid. Nope. So we're looking for... Oh. I wish there were updates in the journal talking about the thing that I'm supposed to grab. Maybe I have to walk. Because there's a thing that we're supposed to get around here. And it was on the stumps. In the wood. Is that a bat or a cat? Well, one way or another, I think the pig's gone home. Or not. Or hello. Okay, the pig, pig peaced out. Well, there's the map stone at the very least. Three! Oh, this area is huge. Oh no, there's the pig. Nuts Cattery. Okay, here we go. Okay, hello. Who are you? Don't you think? About sacrificing one of my babies, my little furry babies are all I have. They're very well trained, so don't even think about kidnapping one. Uh, milk? Milk. Oh, Bubble Puffs! One of my kittens has gone missing. Try and find him. Must have wandered into the woods. He was a climber, so check the trees. And we already found him. Dude, do you ever look at how many games you have and wonder why you have so many? Every day. Seriously, I have given up uh, organizing my Steam library at this point. I straight up have just shy of 2,000 games on Steam. And that's not even counting the amount of uh, games I have on like every other platform. 
like the list grows daily by like I it's like four games a day sometimes. And it's not bad, but it's uh <laughs> Oh man, it is hard to keep track of everything. Actually all the doors are off center. Weird. Oh, thank you. You must be a true cat lover. Would you like to buy one of my cats? Just choose any acceptable bubble puff on my head. Can't bear to be without them. Only ten brass each. Oh, so now she she gives them up. Nope, can't get that open. So where's the, uh... Anybody remember exactly where the... Whistleroot is said to love. Pawns and mushrooms red and blood. Uh, let's see. Reminders? Anybody remember where the, uh... The things were supposed to be growing? Because there was something about stumps, but I couldn't interact with it. Unless I was doing it wrong or the dog was getting away. In the way. Both are entirely vi viable. Oh, this looks promising. Okay, that, that's exactly what we need. How big is this area? Massive. That's what it is. Hoping for more map stones up here, but... Give that dog a cabbage. I don't think it likes cabbages. Yeesh. This area really goes on forever. I love the pixel art, though. That's that's what drew me to this originally. I was just like, this is a nice-looking game. I I must have seen, like... Oh, no, I saw it during the Kickstarter. I don't think I actually kickstarted it, though. Oh, hello. Nothing salvageable. I'm assuming they're, the, the dig spots are available, but they're not actually... Um, they're not actually populated with loot yet. Either that or I really suck at digging. Both are entirely possible. Okay, so we'll want... 10 brass for a cat. Well, considering I have, like, no upkeep, we'll just save up for that. Oh, right. Uh, let's see, we wanna... What? What happened? How do I... Oh, no. What? How do I... Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've collected honey. Uh... Apothecary's over here. Please, please don't be close. It took me all day to find the herb that you're looking for. Nope. Don't leave. Don't leave. First a door. Excellent work. We'll mix up just the thing and... Because you did most of the footwork, this one's on the house. Not literally. Don't want you climbing on the roof. There we go. Got it. Much healthier than Soylent. Okay. You know... I bet the Fable games are on Xbox. What the? Oh god, that is a scary man. But yeah, I, uh... I wouldn't mind playing through the Fable series someday. I was hoping that the new Fable would come out, because I, I was one of the closed beta testers, and I actually thought it was awesome. Like, it had a really interesting, like, premise and combat system, and that... Ah, that sucks. I wonder how many different games made it into the, like, functional, but not... You know, like, the StarCraft Ghost situation. Where the game could have been released, probably. It just wasn't. <coughs> I'm feeling very rough. Got the greens. Need a good herb or some concoction. <coughs> okay, so we want to give him... Candlewitch Green. And Father is Healthy again. So what else do we got? Anything? Nope. Wow. Perfect. Alright. And let us sleep. Till 6 a.m. 
There we go. Yeah, Warcraft Adventures was done and they shelved it. Huh. Alright, six brass for all of my tasks. So deliver milk to Warzel Scrumpy. Tasty acres to get and gift milk to Warzel. Offering feed the pig. Well, some of these are kind of easy. Yeah, Scalebound was a game I intended to buy, but the last minute it was cancelled. I don't think it was last minute. I think I think Scalebound still had a ways to go before it was done. But I totally agree. That was that was one of those big shams. I love platinum games. And I'm I'm really disappointed that uh Scalebound never got to go to completion. Though it looks like they're working on some new cool thing. Which I'm I'm excited for. I don't know, Platinum Games always has some neat stuff that they're working on. As as long as the studio ain't dead. And especially if they keep working with Yoko Taro. That would that is rad. So how does this game save? Oh interesting. Generated 14 happy and two sad feelings. And completed completed 36 tasks. That's neat. So how does this save? I I gotta check. I'm hoping it's saved, because I'm going to be real mad if it sets me back. Well, not real mad. I'm going to be sad. Because it's 2 a.m. for me. I am quite tired. I'd like to play more, especially if there's actually stuff to do. Uh, I'm just going to reload the game, see where it drops me. I'm assuming it saves... Okay, ninth day, year one. So, yeah. It just reloads us to the beginning of the day. Perfect. That is... That's great. Okay, so it looks like the little ticker at the bottom is uh, way off, but that's okay. It saves when you sleep. Perfect. That's all I needed. 